everybody welcome back to another video what I wanted to do today is kind of a little bit of a, a follow-up or more in depth with something I mentioned in the last video about the fourth dimensional updates and that was the AI system there is a lot of fear among people about AI and what it's going to be leading to uh, what's going to happen to humanity and um, kind of the direction we're going to take with AI taking over you know the Terminator movies <laughs> showed a good example of why people are a little bit afraid of the AI system so what I wanted to go and talk about a little bit is the the real purpose of the AI and uh, I talked quite a bit about that in my last book about the entering the fourth dimensional matrix and the reason I mentioned it is because of a thing called CRISPR it's a uh, clustered regularly interspaced short repeats and that is a genetically modif a system to gen genetically modify the DNA using AI in which they can go into the body they can add and delete different forms of different parts of the DNA sometimes it's been successful sometimes it hasn't um, there was a, a scientist who trained in China and the United States back in 2018 who went into twin girls who were still in the womb genetically modified their DNA in order to make them resistant to HIV because apparently that's what their mother had HIV so they didn't want the children to be born with it and it apparently was successful the children were born they're doing well I guess they're five years old now he also did some other genetic manipulations on another child and again it was successful the his reward for doing that in China was three years in prison I guess he was released a couple of years ago and since that time nobody has heard much from him and he hasn't been doing any research that they're aware of and the idea of the concept is that using AI in that CRISPR type program could be a huge benefit to humanity you know they could be make us resistant to diseases uh, while the children are still in the womb so that they would be born and no longer to have all the vaccinations and all the negative side effects from those vaccinations uh, it could make them not be susceptible to heart disease or Alzheimer's or the different genetic diseases that we have so th there's a very positive side to what can happen with that AI the fear is that this CRISPR type program could be used and then they claim that it's actually being used by our government as well as many other governments around the world in order to in order to create super soldiers essentially the bigger faster stronger see better hear better you, know, you could add in some animal DNA to where they could have the hearing of an owl or they could have the vision of a of an eagle or uh, you know the gill concept and various ways that they can manipulate humans and you saw some of that in the the drawings from Egypt where you have the human body and the animal heads uh, supposedly it was done back in Atlantis which is partly what led to their downfall uh, but the idea with this program is that they can create the super soldier the was it, I think it's Marvel the Captain America series is basically the same thing to where they did genetically modified his DNA made him bigger stronger faster he can heal better and so on the whole nine yards and that is a fear of a lot of people because those soldiers could also be made to be more obedient that follow certain people's orders they could have less compassion less empathy meaning that they would be much better soldiers much better at killing and not be concerned with who or what they killed and again if, it, if it's true that they're working on that at the governmental level that's um, they could create their own super uh, army force uh, the idea is that it could also be used negatively by the wealthy who could have their children modified in the womb to where they are bigger stronger smarter better equipped to deal with this world uh, they would be able to take over the businesses the governments and have a huge advantage over children who are not genetically modified so essentially the elite could continue their bloodlines and that their families could rule the world and continue to rule the world because their children could be better you know those are negative side effects it could also be used to modify the behavior of humans make humans more docile make them more compliant uh, and at some point you could even modify them to do certain jobs and again that goes back to the x-men type uh, scenario where you have where you have 
different humans with different kind of abilities, you know, something along those type of lines. Um, that is the negative side. They, they claim that these small grays that some people have seen and had contact with are humans at the end of that timeline where that was done. We, you know, we use those programs and AI in order to manipulate and control humanity, to take away their emotions, to make them more compliant, which is what these grays are supposed to be. The people that see them say that they've come back in time in order to tell us that that was not a good timeline. That was the biohuman, transhumanism type timeline where you start getting you know, robotic parts, you start getting uh, genetic manipulations for different things. Anyway, that was the other timeline that we've already completed. What we're going to be doing now is using AI for our advantage to help humanity as a whole so that they can do the jobs. Uh, they can do a lot of the work that humans have to do now, so we're not going to have so much stress and hard on our, like the, the miners or the construction people, people who are working hard physical jobs that are that take a real strong toll on their bodies. It takes a real strong toll on their bodies over time and really wears them out and gives them a lot of diseases down the road. But you could have robots taking these things over. Uh, we could use the robots for and replace a lot of the doctor procedures that they do. There's a lot now being done in hospitals and operating rooms with using AI systems. Uh, some hospitals use it to watch the patients 24 hours a day, and they have facial recognition software. So we can see whether the person is maybe in more pain and not saying something, or they don't really have the pain, but when the nurse is there, they act like they do. But you now this AI system would be watching them and could modify, check their faces and know whether or not they suddenly relax after the nurse is gone. So it, it can be used to help the patients, it can be used to modify medications, and so on. There's also, I think it's 13% now of hospitals use it in, to some extent, within the operating rooms. Um, those are things that AI can do down the road. They can be used for diagnostic. And you're starting to get some of that now with online doctors. So again, AI can be doing those type of things at some point. It just has to become more acceptable. Um, the idea to use AI in the new timeline that we want to go down, the new fourth dimension that I'm talking about, is where we used AI for the purpose of helping humanity to allow us more free time to be able to grow spiritually, to grow mentally, you know, to work on things like the arts, our spirituality, to gain more access to our inner self, to allow us to, to, to grow on a more natural timeline. Now, the other timeline, you have something like what was done supposedly by the Anunnaki a few hundred thousand years ago where they genetically modified the species of human on this planet in order to make them better workers and more compliant. And, and, and that's part of the problem that could happen with the other timeline is once people start seeing a positive side of it, it wouldn't be long before that genetic manipulation to control the people, make them more compliant could happen. Um, so we're, we're looking at going the other direction on that timeline, and I know we are. We already are. We've already shifted. So for those of you who have a lot of, or may have some fear over the AI timeline and what it's going to do and keep watching those Terminator movies, we're not going that direction. That was the old timeline. That's the way the system wants to go. But we are not going to do that. We're not going to be able to do that. We're not, we're not following that timeline anymore. AI is going to be used to help us. For medically, it's going to be used to help reorganize the government, the financial systems. It's going to be used for a lot of things, but it's going to be for our benefit and to allow us to grow. And as I said, that's a lot of what my book deals with in relating to those changes and how they're going to happen, uh, the things that need to be modified. So, so I just wanted to bring out about the AI. Focus on the timeline that we want to go down. That is the more spiritual, positive timeline using AI for our advantage, not the old timeline that the system is trying to push and reinforce that they want us to go down because that's where they maintain their power control. So we are going down the new timeline, so kind of relax a little bit, but at the same time focus on where you want to be so we can move through the fourth dimension quicker, get these changes to all the systems that need to be done, and then move on to our 5DA or wherever it is you want to be going. So anyway, have yourself a great day.